there used to be like a point in my life where I was ashamed of my depth and how I felt like how deeply I felt and how passionate I was because we're living in a generation of people who will take advantage of that and then dog you out because of that because they can't feel it and they're jealous of the people that can feel it and so they make you feel guilty for having like real deep feelings because of their lack and so i used to really be ashamed of that and now i realize that it's just my superpower and i'm meant to attract a passionate life and a passionate person and a passionate community and not everyone is going to walk in that and you know that's not my responsibility to force that on them so yeah i ain't gonna lie man i don't know what you talking about all jokes aside i do know what she's talking about but she's so broad and vague with her, her statement that i kind of really don't know what she's alluding to to be honest man i've been watching all these TikToks talking about because that don't want to be divorced don't get married so you don't get divorced i got cheated on i got used everything got taken and then guess what i still got i still got to pay 800 something dollars a month in child support they don't give a about us men down here in these courts telling y'all stay out of these courts because guess what it's all stacked against you it's all stacked against you again i got cheated on i got walked out on i got everything taken from me and guess what they said they ain't give about none of that all they cared about is how much money i made to this point and they're trying to take everything they can from me how the is a man supposed to survive they don't care about your survival they just want them to survive. It's all marriage. You can't beat human nature, though. And I know you say F marriage and all that type of stuff like that. But men been known for a long time that we have been at a disadvantage when it comes to marriage because of the laws and things like that. But the way that the laws are set up and how women have the leverage, it almost seems like it's a failed attempt that the, that the powers that be use to try to create population control. Because if they know that they can incentivize women and give women all the power, then common sense will tell men, don't get married and don't be having children with these women, right? But like I said, just like female nature is female nature, male nature is male nature. We still gonna want the cat and we still gonna put ourselves in situations, whether it be married, or whether we have children, where it's gonna happen. And I know some people talk about some, oh, well, they, they got and things like that. Yeah, but we all know men, a lot of men live for that feeling, that pleasure. And you don't really get it like that with the You see what I'm saying? You know, a lady had uh, messaged me and she said, you know what, um, I wasted a lot of my time. And, you know, now that I have my three kids and, you know, my marriage didn't work out, I want to, you know, really start taking those guys who I thought was like lame guys. I want to start giving them a chance. And I said, ooh. What I've been telling y'all. I said, ooh. What I've been telling y'all. How unfair. How unfair is it for the lame guys, as she called it, to have to be with you after you done been ran through and got all these kids from another man or two and you, you really think you're deserving of a good man now at this point? That's Great so point. unfair. Great point. Great Guys, point. you gotta be real cautious. I ain't saying there's nothing wrong with being with a woman with kids, but you gotta be real cautious because sometimes the women are willing to settle for you because they know that the guys they want is just not worth a dang on thing. I love when women confirm the same things I've been saying on this channel for a whole year now. A whole year now, bro.